Hi, I'm Eric Burleson. You know, growing up in Springfield, I've lived through both the good and bad economic times, just like many of you. And I can still remember that feeling and the impact that took place when Zenith left Springfield in 92 and our community lost 1,500 jobs. After that, we've seen the loss of Solo Cup, which cost 400 people their jobs. And now, more recently, Regal Beloit is leaving with another 400 jobs. The reality is that every one of those lost jobs didn't just impact our local economy, but it was devastating to the man or woman who is now having to struggle with what they're gonna do next. And worst of all, is the uncertainty that their family is facing. You know, as a lawmaker, it would be nice to be able to create laws that ended economic downturns and took care of all of our social problems. But life and our history have shown us that laws can't stop the forces of life. And more often than not, too many laws do more harm than they do good. The bottom line is that no business, no union, and no government job can provide, let alone guarantee, good, high-paying jobs without having a growing and robust private economy. Giving people their freedom to join or not join a union when and if they want will not only help create a better economic atmosphere, but I believe will help unions become better for their members. Today, Missouri is at a crossroads. Do we continue to fight amongst ourselves in an ever-shrinking economic pond as more businesses leave our community and our state? Or do we truly seek to compete in a world economy for greater opportunities? American history has proven that a small but free people can achieve great success. That is our heritage and we can live it again while we are protecting the rights of all. I'm asking for your help, not for you or I, but for our children and their children. Thank you.